Let me ask you this. Was he or she toxic before you drained the life out of your partner and you expect them to be the same person? Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, I am your lady TGH. One of the things I hear all the time is that my wife is toxic, my husband is toxic. Let me ask you this. Was he or she toxic? Before you drain the life out of your partner, before you drain the life out of your partner, you expect them to be the same person after you consistently lied to them, hurt them, cheated them, after you consistently abused them, you expect them to still be the same person? Tell me, was he or she toxic before you did all that? Why don't you take responsibility for your own actions? See, before you get into a relationship, you should heal first. You should take care of yourself first. You should seek help. You should seek help and take care of the things that damaged you in the first place. No, that's not the set of people I'm referring to. I'm, I'm referring to the ones that went into a relationship with you with their sanity intact. That is until you started lying, cheating. Until you started lying, cheating, breaking their heart. And in fact, you made them to question their self words. Those are the people I am referring to. The people I want to address today are the people who have hurt their partners so much and still have the effrontery to accuse those partners of being toxic. You, you have hurt your partners so much in ways that words cannot even express, and yet you still complain that he or she is toxic. Who is to blame? You hurt them, you lied to them consistently, you broke their hearts, you brought down their self-esteem with your cheating, you destroyed their self-esteem with your cheating, with your lying, with your two-timing, and yet you complain that they are toxic. What were you expecting? A drum roll? After you have hurt them, you've broken their heart? After you have abused them in ways that they can't even begin to express? You expect a drum roll? You created the monster. I mean, what's your role in this? You literally created the monster by taking advantage of their feelings. You, you show them crazy and you expect them to become. I mean, you created a monster by consistently taking advantage of them. They are not crazy and you expect them to become. Why don't you take responsibility for your actions? See, no one needs to suffer for years because of love. There comes a time when enough is enough and love is not just enough. And love is not the definition you put on it. Love is staying committed to your partner, staying committed in that relationship and not hurting them. Um, respecting them and not hurting them, not cheating on them. And then you can expect them to become and not be what you call so sick. Because you can't be the aggressor and still give out those labels freely. You created a monster by your behavior, by taking advantage of them. You should be blamed. This is a no-brainer. When you physically and emotionally abuse someone for years, what do you expect? When, when they came into that relationship or that marriage, were they toxic? Or it was the after effects of your physical and emotional abuse that made them toxic. I mean, there is a saying where I come from that you do not bring an ant infested firewood into the house and I swear that there will be no ants. You created a monster, you should take responsibility for your actions. They were not so sick before they got into a relationship with you. You cursed them, you created a monster. You were the toxic one by abusing them emotionally and physically, by hurting them, by breaking their heart. And yet you are the one complaining, perhaps you should have healed first before going into that relationship. Try, do not let any toxic person who is yet to heal, who is yet to take responsibility for his or her actions, label you toxic. That's reverse psychology. Stop. Just because you're calling your partner out for what he or she did, making them accountable does not make you toxic. They are the ones that are toxic and they should own up and be responsible. And so, my darlings, whatever you're going through, do not set yourself short. As always, I wish you the very best that this life has to offer. Bye-bye. She's a lady, TJ Open.